One of the few sea lion pups raised each year along the Otago coastline. While the animals are now a common sight in the region, the actual numbers of sea lions breeding in New Zealand is still very low. New Zealand sea lions are actually a rare species. Uh, they are an endangered species. They have the highest threat level classification in New Zealand. So it's the same threat level classification as kakapo. And I think in Dunedin, and to some extent to the cat in the Catlands, we are so used to seeing sea lions. It's a normal thing for us to see sea lions on the beach. So there's possibly a perception that they are quite common. And that is not true. They are actually a rare animal. So we only have maybe 250 to 300 resident sea lions on the mainland. We get a lot of visitors from the subantarctics and also from Stewart Island, but the, the animals that you're seeing on the beaches in Dunedin and in the Catlands are likely the same animals over and over again. It's not just that we have so many. This week has seen the ongoing trial of 54-year-old Graham Lowry, who was accused of stabbing to death 11-month-old sea lion pup Rua. White says the court case shows this country's commitment to protecting a threatened species. So it's, it's illegal, it's not something we're allowed to do, um, it is for the protection of the species and so somebody needs to be held accountable, well, the person responsible needs to be held accountable for um, his or her actions. Um, and it also does definitely demonstrate that New Zealand takes these things seriously, um, that we are looking out for our protected species. The Crown's case is that Lowry's motive for killing a sea lion was formed when the animal began taking his salmon and ripping holes in his fishing nets. This is my personal opinion, but there's a heaps of resource for both people and sea lions in terms of fish. Um, in fact, sea lions, fish aren't their first preference for diet. They prefer squid and octopus. So while they do eat fish, that's not their main diet. Um, so they may take the occasional fish, but there's plenty for us. The Sea Lion Trust is expecting the numbers of New Zealand-based sea lions to keep slowly growing, giving people a chance to get to know these marine mammals. Every year the number of pups goes up, which is a really positive thing. Um, it's still small numbers, but we are going to have more and more sea lions here in the future if we keep going the way we are, which is a fantastic opportunity for people to get to know them. But we have to educate people on what sea lions are really like, how they behave, what to expect from a sea lion, and what we could do to share our space comfortably. Because there's lots of space for us, and there's lots of space for sea lions, and we think there's plenty of room for all of us, and we can all just get along. Um, but a lot of the work that the Sea Lion Trust needs to do is preparing the community for the return of sea lions. The Dunedin court trial is likely to continue until mid next week. In Dunedin, for the South Today.